All right, guys, we're back on this My Rise. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for your boy. And let's get into it. As you can see, we only got one story left of Elimination Chamber. So let's get it. Get excited, because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. Yeah. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber premium live event, we're holding a preview match on SmackDown. A six-woman tag. You, Zia Lee, and Lacey Evans. <sighs> Carmella, Bailey, and Dewdrop. Fine by me. Lacey Evans is the last minute scratch tonight, so this elimination Bro, how's Dewdrop here? She just got hit by a car. Handicap match. No oh, yeah, also. On Lacey Evans' absence yet, but it's certainly not like her to no-show. Yeah, definitely a head scratcher, but these five superstars will have to do their best to ignore the distraction and Wait, we miss one? business at hand. Also, I changed uh, one of my finishers. The two uh, bank statements or whatever, I had to change one of them. The other one, because uh, it was always rope break when she did a little flip thing, so I just changed it down to like a bulldog and I kept the other one. But it looked like it's two on three. And of course, you know Zali. I'm not tagging her in. Maybe I should though, but nah. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Get my bars up. We already have halfway there, anyways, for a signature. Ah, look at this! Hit pull that slam. Mm -hmm. Dutrop looking powerless to every attack. Yeah, Dutrop has to find a response quickly. Put in some work. We're almost there for a signature. Let's get it one more time. This should get give it to us. Oh, focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Oh, we got it now. Little stun meter going. Nope, get her off me. Reverse it, damn it. Nope, you try. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. What's my signature? I went for the pin. Just like you. Straight jacket neck breaker. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. Oh, I actually kicked out. Uh, she kicked out? No. That's way. all right. She actually kicked out? I wonder if she can withstand much more of this. Yeah, she's being met with a roadblock every time. Hit her with that submission, though. Oh, no, you don't. You ain't tagging. Much more of this. This is submission. Watch, guys. We might. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Is it elimination? What's going on? Uh oh. Match is over. Bank statement. Here are your winners. The Bucks and Zia Lee. Local medical facility. All right. What was this? Our aunt, of course. I gotta admit, I'm a little spooked by the whole Lacey Evans thing. She just didn't want to compete I in a match. I know we haven't seen eye to eye lately, but that's weird, right? Watch she show up for SummerSlam. Not SummerSlam. I can't even talk. Elimination Chamber, though. I meant what I said before. Just because we disagree sometimes doesn't mean that you can't still come to me for advice or guidance. And yeah, very weird. Seems pointed. I would have even pointed a finger at my client given how ruthless she is. But I was with Dewdrop right before the match. Couldn't have been her. I get taking no prisoners in the ring, but pushing a lighting rig on someone is a whole other level. Well, you know my guess. What's your guess? I thought Dewdrop got hit by a car, so how how was she in the last match anyways? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the money in the bank match? Someone who's shown she's prone to extreme actions? Like hitting my client with a car? Don't be dumb about this. I know what you're getting at, but it's not Ava. I thought she was talking I'm about Dudra. I'm saying she's necessarily above it, but she would have told me. We trust each other. 
I still respect the choice you made the night of your last tag team championship match. But that doesn't mean I've changed my opinion. That girl is just waiting to take advantage of you. More than she's done already. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. Matt Riddle. Bro. Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. Yeah, I've heard about it, Riddle. I mean, I'm in the match. It's wild. There's a lot of rumors flying around about who's going to be inside, so I gotta ask. I swear if it's my aunt. Dark pod? Um, me? Yeah. Why should be my aunt? Old ass trying to be in the match still. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? You? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thanks, bro. I can't believe that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the dark pod. Are you in the dark pod? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this historic match. Hey, you may not be in the dark pod, but at least you're not in a goat head. Rude. Who was in the goat head? Who was in the goat head? I don't remember. Can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before. And I've seen a lot around here. Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. Man, I got this. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here tonight. And Man, I'm going to eliminate everybody before they can get out of the dark pod. It's about to be easy. Boop. Bop. What's up, dude, Rock? Big ass bitch. I'm saying this is going to be my aunt, watch. Allegedly. Oh, that hurt. Putting in that work. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. We need to get our finishers up as well. So bad for her here. She can still turn it around by taking this fight wherever she wants. Ooh, stinging kick. And that was a well executed. How did I miss? Reverse, get him off me. I heard rumors that Nia Jax trying to come back uh, to the WWE as well. So. Nia Jax versus. Do drop two big bitches. I'm still waiting for our truth and uh, our truth and Randy Orton to come back. Ooh, baby, about to come? Nope, Carmella. I'm gonna pin her. Try to get her out while she's stunned. Get off me, Carmella. Y'all remember when uh, Elimination Chamber Data had like the little padding on the outside where the stoop Carmella was nothing but rails. What the hell? What just happened? They wouldn't let me punch this now. Reverse. Never mind. Help me, Carmella. How the ref just help me. Yeah. Jump. Go ahead. Do your thing. Measured 
Bailey or Zaylee. I'm about to get Duke Rock big ass out. Zaylee, see you, Duke Rock. How the hell is she kicking out? She don't got no resilience. Or did she just use it? Get off me. No rope break for you. See ya. One down. Alright, let them fight outside while I get my bars back up. Let's double team Carmella. Bailey. Nope, get him off me. I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm calling this going to be my aunt in the dark pod. Well, if it's Ava, I mean, we can team up a little bit. Bro, get off. Why is everyone targeting me? Target uh, Carmella. Targeting is kind of bad on this game at times. You'll be standing right next to him and then they yeah, start targeting someone else because they walk by. Get that stomach to roll. Get Carmella up out of here. Of course she kicks out. That's right. Finisher. Oh, she reversed it? Damn. Get off me. Is the dark person in the dark pot not going to come out until everyone else is gone or what? It with my finisher. Nah, she didn't reverse it this time. Bank statement. See ya. It's two down. Alright, let's turn so we start getting our bars back. Yeah, I'm assuming the dark pop person ain't gonna come out to everyone else is eliminated. Muziah. Damn. I've said I still don't have damage. Let's jump for Bailey. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start damaging Bailey because she the only one who's gonna have damage now. This about to fill my bar all the way up. Almost. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. Oh, now Bailey has. We all got damage. Stomping out. Muzaya, help out. Stop trying. Watch out. Uh, she almost has a special too, so I gotta be careful. Reverse. Nope. Oh, she got I don't I don't know what her special is, so I don't know if it's submission it's, or what. Or I find move or what. So I don't know when the reverse was gonna come. I could just pause it and look. Let's see if it's a ground submission or not. I can just do that real quick. Slightly finish. Tornado kick, so it's inside the ring. Standing up. Alright, I got it. Oh, she's about, she, she about to try to do it. And I missed it. Of course I missed the reverse. And I called it. I'm not that damaged that I can't kick out though. I can say my resilience. Roll out, roll out, and cover. Do I have a double special? Nope. Yep. Well, that tells me the dark one is not coming out. Move. I'm trying to get my special on her. God damn it. Maybe in the way. Slap. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. She Baby, you got a signature. I'm about to get out the ring and let Bailey do her thing. Oh, Bailey's about to do the rose plant. Her signature. Oh, she got a finisher. I didn't notice. Kick to the 
got just to set up for the rose plant. Is that what it takes to beat Zia Lee? There's two. And that's the Zia Lee. Zia Lee. She missed it, baby. On the attack from behind. Right Nick Breaker. And an unlucky Bailey without an answer to that attack. Stay down. Yeah. Bank statement. All right, who's in this dark pot? Is my aunt, ain't it? Bailey has been eliminated. Is about to open. It's been the best kept secret in WWE since it was announced. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. That's my prediction. The wait is almost over because the mystery entrant into the elimination Where chamber is, Ava? is about to be revealed. Then I took. I called it. I called it. Justine is the mystery entrant into the elimination chamber match. One of these two old as bitch. I called it. Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine. I saw that coming a mile away. Since her career ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning. Trying to steal my spotlight. Is her niece. I swear if she wins. Immediately on the offensive. Setting her up. Powerbomb? Nope. It looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. Come on, She's fight back. Dominated in there. Wait a second. We've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. The Justine Jammer with the cover. One, two, three. The it's fuck? Over. We have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's Justine. Justine is the what? SmackDown Women's Champion. Really? There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the dark pod, and Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. But I called it. She was trying to put the blame on Ava the entire time. I called it. Simply unbelievable. She wanted to steal the spotlight all this time. What a moment in WWE history. I'm trying to see how was that for the title? I thought who was the champion? Chosen, please go away. Did you know that Justine was in the dark pod? No, they kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I, that's why I didn't. I started not trusting her. That's why I, I didn't want her managing me. I know she's family, but it also tracks given everything she's told me I need to do to get ahead. I just didn't think I would be on the receiving. I mean, I called it in the match. I knew her tricks when we were partners, and I never thought I'd be on the receiving end either until I caught wind of her trying to turn on me. Though there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster. What got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. I thought it was going to be me versus That's Ava. Way to take down your aunt is to make her confront at WrestleMania for the title. It looks like it's gonna be me versus my aunt. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it. EST. Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. You're telling me. I know she's your family. But I can't get over how these legends come in and trying to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already had their time. Justine certainly makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment. Right? 
how can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. I mean, these legends Trust me, I can take her. Hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars, and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Embrace the future? Huh. You might have something there. Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE She got the DX colors. Shocking return and victory at elimination. She's pulling the Trish right now. Thank you, Trish. I'll stop. WWE career but being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out as I got involved coming back into WWE first with my podcast and then as a manager I started to wonder Edge Lita got second acts why not just Steve the more I gave the more I realized you need me You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed. To fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short. To what the hell? <laughs> I was wondering when you would show up. Trying to steal our spotlight. Good, given how much you like to ride my coat. You ride my coat What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed All at the me, signs point to this, though. Just think about it. Bank tag team match? After you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments. I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You didn't. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up. Got that right. Prime Dry coot. I'll stop. Girly, you best not insult me. Because I taught you everything you know. Stop. LJ. Too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. That's why I didn't wear your ring gear. I was proud when you decided to wear your own gear. For exactly. You and make your own mark. But it was probably then that I started to realize you don't have what it takes to push our family name forward in this business. That I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand. When you hesitated in using the chair in your main event match with Ava? What? Were you afraid the chair would bite you? <laughs> You've always lacked an edge. I would never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal. Bitch need to gargle some lotion or something. Deep ass voice you got. But you wouldn't even take advice from me. A WWE legend. Decided to stay loyal help your leech of a friend Ava stop you know the difference between you and me LJ I'm young you're I've old I've never been content walking in someone else's path and I never had the luxury I've always had to make my own and that's what I'm doing my head is spinning here Justine's not only back but she's put a target on her niece Justine's certainly drawn a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that from a member of your own family? She's gonna get this work though. We're about to find out. I have a feeling that whatever she has to call say, her out. It could have some big ramifications for the WWE. They give me a choice. Confront the past. Work with Molly. Embrace the future. Team with Bianca. Uh, I wonder what the difference is. Man, this is the future. Forget them. Let's go with the future. Shut up, Justine. What did this you ain't say the past. You heard me. Shut up. It's always the same with you. I had it so hard. It was so 
new generation. That's kind of like some of the old wrestlers today. Exactly. I mean, you they did their thing in the past, but it's a new generation, you know? Bringing up your grievances, and you never think to put any of that energy into bringing up the superstars of tomorrow. Hell, maybe even making it better for them. Uh, you told me how it felt to get your matches cut short back in 2003. Move on! Imagine what it feels like now to get your matches cut whenever some old legend yeah. shows up! is better in memory than it was in reality talk your talk you got your win at elimination chamber relying on the element of surprise and not let me play congrats so proud you want to really settle this face me for real old school new school you Yeah. Did we just see a WrestleMania match being made? I think we did, Saxton. I've got to admit, it's not a matchup I thought we'd ever get on the grandest stage of them all. And I also don't think we've ever seen a statement that powerful from this superstar. I agree, Corey. And she didn't just pick a fight with Justine. Intentionally or not, she picked a fight with all the WWE legends. If that's the case, at least the WWE Universe gets to see that fight here today in the present. Oh, calm down, Saxton. What? I'm excited. Past versus present. Bianca and Liv. It's about time someone called out a WWE legend like that. Didn't really think it would be you standing up to your aunt, though. I meant what I said out there. And I meant what I said earlier. Liv feels the same way about these old timers still in our spotlight. The WWE Universe wants to watch us, not them. Well, then maybe it's time to put our words into action and really give them something to watch. I know Molly ain't getting mad now. My Aunt Justine had a lot of time to talk last week. Good for her. Now it's my turn. But I'm not just Is that Trish on that truck behind me? I made Trish and no Lita. secret last week how I feel about WWE legends. It's time to move on from the past. We're the ones going out in the ring. Each and every week, putting it all on the line in each and every match. Whether it's at a premium live event, on SmackDown, or a house show. We're the ones doing the work. And we think it's only fair. That it should be our yep, Trish and Lita. Not theirs. What are they going to do? I've seen that truck before. Spray paint. What do you think, Saxton? They're defacing WWE property and sending Pulling the NWO to the WWE legends. It's controversial, but effective. Wish you right in future. Molly what the Molly hell? Lita are here on oh, Molly didn't join them because she mad because I called out Lita the legends. Into the side of the truck. So it's going to be the those three Pretty big talk when it comes to the versus us three. Well, Trish at. Straight to her niece's face. Looks like Justine and the other legends had a message of their own. I mean, tonight. replace Justine and with Trish. One at that. They're not ready to step aside. I 
exactly still trying to take the spotlight. Team will live. Let's go with Bianca. 